Hello everyone, thank you for watching my video today on solving exponential equations. In order to do this, we're going to need to know these exponent properties that we learned in Algebra 1. So it'll take a minute to look these over, make sure you got them, and then we're going to go right ahead and start solving some problems. So first one, we can see they're both powers of 3. So it's going to be 3 to the 5x, just like that on the left side, no changes there. On the right side, where it says 3 to the 3rd, to the 2x minus 4. Now the bases are the same, we can set the exponents equal to each other, and solve. So 3 to the 20th would equal 27 to the 4th. Both of these are powers of 2. So it would be 2 to the negative 1 to the x equals 2 to the x plus 3. So that's going to be negative x equals x plus 3. Negative 2x equals 3. x equals negative 3 halves. Next slide here. Again, we're going to do powers of 2 for these two. So 2 to the x plus 1 equals 2 to the 4th to the x minus 5. So then x plus 1 equals 4x minus 20. So x would be 7. D, we're new powers of 3. That's a pretty simple one. So x minus 2 equals 3. x would be 5. E. So this one right now, with methods that we currently have, is not solvable. Because there's no way to write 7 as a power of 3. All right? So we're going to learn a new method soon using logarithms that will allow us to rewrite this into a different answer. So right now, the only thing we could probably do is to put this in our calculators. So if you want to pause this video to get a graphing calculator out. And you could put 3 to the x in y1 and 7 in y2. And on the graph, see where they intersect which will occur one time. So I'm just finding it right now in my calculator by doing second trace intersection. And the answer would be 1.771. Okay, so what I did again was y1 equals 3x, y2 equals 7. Find the intersection point. We will learn an analytic method with logarithms soon. Okay, number, or letter F. All right, so we want to isolate this first. So we're going to divide by 3 on both sides. So 2 to the 4x plus 3 equals 6. Right, so again, we can't write 6 as 2 to the power of anything. So again, we can just do what we did in the last problem. Set this equal to y1 and this equal to y2. And now that we have a graph, we can find our intersection point. By a second trace intersection. That would be at negative 0 0.104. Okay, number eight. I'm oh, sorry, letter G. 
we can go ahead and write this as powers of 2. So 2 to the third x minus 1, 2 to the x plus 2. Like bases, so 3x minus 3 equals x plus 2. Solving that, we get x is 5 halves. Letter H, so this would be 12 squared to the 2x plus 1 equals 12 to the 5x minus 1. So it would be 4x plus 2 equals 5x minus 1, and then x would be 3. All right, letter I, we can write these as powers of 2. So m plus 1 equals 4m plus 28. So m would equal negative 9. Letter J, one third, remember we could write that as three to the negative one, three x plus two equals three to the x minus one. So negative x minus two equals x minus one. Add x over here, add one over here, divide by two, negative one half. All right, and our last slide here, eight we could write as two to the third, 16 is 2 to the 4th, so we get 15x equals 12x plus 16, so 3x equals 16, x equals 16 thirds. Our last one, we can write this as 2 thirds to the 5x plus 1 equals 2 thirds cubed to the 4 minus x. So then 5x plus 1 equals 12 minus 3x. So 8x equals 11, x equals 11 eighths. All right, that will do it for our lesson today on solving exponential equations. Thanks again, as always, for tuning in, and we'll see you again soon.